Good morning, everyone. Okay, Gracie, I can understand there's a window behind me, uh, but there's not much I can do about it actually. Really don't, uh, you know, have a lot of space here. Okay. All right, uh, let's start now. I, we are already we are already at eighty here, so okay. Are there are there two pinak? Can both of you say hi? Right, so last time we learned about rules of differentiation, right? Uh, so we are going to practice those questions, right? We are going to practice those questions today, right? So let's get started. All right. So uh, here we have the important points that we have studied so far these are just the rules of differentiation we'll go over through these quickly right the first one is d by dx of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus one right if n is not equal to zero the second one is that differentiation of a constant is zero priyansh can you please turn off your video Okay, thank you. Uh, please do not annotate. All right, so second rule is that differentiation of constant is zero. Third one is the addition or subtraction rule. All right, where you do individual or separate differentiation of both these terms u and v right and the next one is kicking the constant out that is if you are trying to do differentiation of k into u then you can put k outside okay if k is a constant right and finally this one that dx by dx is one or if something like dt by dt is given then that's also one right now you see 
this is not uh, you know a complete list this is not a complete list of of the rules all right okay please remember that there are actually many more rules but you know we don't need to learn all those rules okay because uh, you know uh, they are not that important right as far as uh, using them in physics is concerned right okay so actually there are more than about 25 different formulas and rules for differentiation that math students are going to study right but like i said we don't use all of those in physics right there are a few more that we use in physics but we use those very rarely so when we come across a question where we actually have to use those rules i will teach you what those rules are at that time okay but these are the five important ones for us right now okay you must remember all the five by heart okay and you should know how to use them so that's why we are going to practice let's start okay i'm going to write down a question here okay this is the first one so i will do it for you all right okay i will do it for you so you see how you observe how it is to be done all right let's start suppose i would have to do differentiation of 3 minus x square plus x cube by 3 all right so this is what we want to do differentiation of okay now i, I just want all of you to uh, don't do anything all right just wait for me let me show you how to do it all right from the next question onwards you can try on your own right so first of all you see there are three terms added subtracted right so we have to use addition subtraction rule so this will be d by dx of 3 minus d by dx x square and plus d by dx x cube by 3 right so first of all we have used the addition subtraction rule all right okay so now we will use the other rules let's start so this one 3 is of course a constant so differentiation of a constant is 0 minus d by dx of x square you have to you have to use the rule uh, this one d by dx x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 so if we do that here we get n is 2 right n is 2 i'm sure all of you see that so this is 2 into x raised to 2 minus 1 means 1 right plus now over here you have x cube divided by 3 right so this 3 is a constant right so you can put that constant outside so this will become 1 upon 3 right because division by 3 means 1 upon 3 d by dx of x cube right and now in the next step you can do the differentiation of x cube right using this same formula it is going to be 3x square right and thus you will get an answer minus 2x plus 3 3 cancel x square which you can if you want you can write it as x square minus 2x that's it right i know you can do factorization and all that don't worry our aim here is to learn how to do differentiation all right other mathematics you have learned in 10th i believe you would be knowing it i won't worry about that too much all right so this is how you solve or you do differentiation of a typical thing all right okay any questions about this one any questions anyone about this one Gracie, if you have a question, you could type it. Any questions? If yes, please type those questions. For what this formula is used? Okay, Sanju, you'll know it at proper time, right? It's actually used for finding so many things in physics. All right. Why is it zero differentiation of a 
constant is zero, right? Because constants don't change. Okay, fine. All right, so I believe uh, others don't have any problem, right? So nobody's asking anything else. So let's go forward. Now it's your, it's time for you to do it. All right. Okay. It's time for you all to do it, right? See, it's important to get it right and get it fast. Everyone. Okay. Do it right. Do it fast. So let's start. So suppose I would ask you, what's the differentiation of, let's say, uh, you know, 2x minus x cube plus x raised to 4 by 2. Okay, come on. What is the differentiation of this? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I will write the correct answer after one and a half minutes. All right. So you make sure you finish it before that. Finish. Come on, time is running out. Hurry up. Okay, very good, Ankita. Well done. No caveat. Slightly wrong. No, there a little bit of mistake. Yes, Joy, correct answer. Well done. No, Sankil, that's not how you write it. I want the final answer. No, Falak, that's wrong answer. No, Tapan, not the correct one. All right. I'm so I'm so happy that so many of you are trying. Well done, people. Just a minute, Arkan. I'll, I'll tell you, right? I'll write down the answer. So the answer will be, okay, the answer is going to be 2 minus 3x squared plus 2x cubed. This is your final answer. All right. This is your final answer. Okay. Who got it right? Who got it right? Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I will explain her just a minute. I will explain. Yeah, well done, Tilton. Ria, good. Nisha, well done. Neil. Ah, Ami, be careful. Yes, Haley, well done. All right, let's see. How do we get this answer then? Let's see. Krisha, the answer is uh, yes, correct. Okay. Uh, well, see, this is how you do it, right? First of all, first of all, you have to separate the three. All right. Okay, that is which rule? Which rule did I use here, people? Which rule did I use in this step? Can you tell me which rule did I use in this step? Which rule did I use? Yes, addition subtraction rule. Well done. Okay. Now, over here, 
टू डी एक्स बाई डी एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वन बाई टू डी बाई डी एक्स एक्स रेस टू फोर और राइट या ओके तो फाइनली दिस विल बी टू इन टू वन मीन्स टू माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस फोर एक्स रेस टू थ्री बाई टू और राइट so this cancels here and you get a 2 all right so that's it this is how you get it see everyone everyone it's okay if you can do it directly you don't have to write the step okay steps are not important if you can do it directly without writing you can clap for yourself otherwise just try a little bit harder right steps are not important for this kind of thing all right you can jump like i did see i, I told you the answer directly without writing anything So if you can do that, very good. How is it? 3x square. Okay, ready. This rule, d by dx x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus one. So if it is x cube, then what is the value of n? Ready? You tell me. All right. What is the value of n? Hurry up. No, Raj, that's not how it works. Yes, Gracie, correct. It is three. So put three, right? Then put n equal to three here, so you'll get it. Sir, this two x no two x is not constant, right? Two x is not constant. Only two would be constant. All right? Okay. So this two is a constant, so you kick it out. All right? But x remains. All right? So that's how you do it. Let's go to the next question. Similar one. Okay. So before we do that, I just want you to know. do you understand that if i am given 5 upon x square then i can write it as this yes or no is that clear hurry up hurry up come on people yes or no is that clear okay very good very good i'm so glad that all of you know that okay negative power means in the denominator correct so that's how we normally deal with it right Okay, so now let's try this. So suppose I were to give you what is d by dx of uh, let's say one upon x, okay, plus two uh, upon x square. What do you think this is? Hurry up, hurry up, come on, because Avi, we are at hundred students, right? That's why. people are not able to join hurry up people i'm waiting for your answers see it is It is okay to be wrong. Don't worry, right? We are all here to learn, so just give it a try. No, Resha, not the correct answer. No, Jaykit, not not right. Try again. Try again. No, Dev, try again. Neil, no. Try again. Uh, no, Ankita, that's not the correct answer. Can you please try again? Well done, Devya. That's right. Ruanchi, that's not correct. Some kid, once you do differentiation, you don't write d by dx. Okay, your answer should look exactly as I'm saying. No, 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 Arkan, no, not the right answer. Tamanna, not the right answer. Yes, Joy, that's the correct answer. Well done. Nisha, not correct. Ayushi, not correct. No, Pinak. Tapan, it's not right. Uh, Ashwini, uh, no, not right. Mm -hmm. No, Sanju. Ruvisha, is it right? Yes, uh, yes, Ruvisha, it is. It is right. It is right. Priyansh, it's correct. No, sorry, it's wrong. It's wrong. Vandan, not right. Uh, Sejal, no. Kavya. Sorry, Kavi, I missed your answer. So many people are giving an answer. Can you please type that again? No, 
Rohan, not correct. All right. Okay, Yashvi. Uh, one term is right, Yashvi. The other one is wrong. Okay, now I'm I'm writing the final answer. I, I'm so sorry I could not uh, answer to each of you individually, right? So I, I'm actually very happy that it happened, right? Because all of you are trying. So it's like I have to answer 100 people at the same time, right? Okay, let's write the final answer. Uh, yes, Tave, it's, it's correct. So this is it. Let's see. First of all, you write it as this. Okay, first of all, you write it as this. All right, no, Ria, that's not right. Uh, so, okay, because one upon x is x raised to minus one and two upon x squared is two x raised to minus two. Now we will use normal rules. Okay, so first of all, see, you have to do it for the first term, right? See, now I'll teach you how to do it directly, like me. Use that rule, okay, which one? D by dx, x raised to n, right? So this will be n equal to minus one. So minus one, x raised to minus one, minus one. All right. No, Kevin, that's not correct. Plus, now in the second term here, two is constant. So we leave two outside, you know. A trick, a trick to do this is that just put your hand on two and ignore the two, all right? Ignore the two and then think about this only, right? Ignore the two here. It's a constant multiply it, ignore it. All right. Okay. Just focus on this. So if you want to do it for that, use this same rule again. And this is going to be minus two X raised to minus two minus one. Okay. Or not. Tell me whether you have understood. All right, I'll, I'll repeat. See, we took a shortcut here, right? Instead of writing all the steps, we just jumped a few steps. Fine, I'll write the steps now. Okay, let's see. So plus two x raised to minus two. So this is what we have. Let's continue from there. So first of all, we have to use addition rule, all right? So this is what it will look like. Now, this is the last time I'm going to teach you this addition rule, all right? Next time you should be able to jump that step. Now, here we use this formula, all right? So what's the formula? It is n x raised to n minus one on the right side. What is n here? Compare everyone, what is n? What is n? Answer me, what is n? What is n? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, come on. Yeah, well done, well done, it is minus one. No, not minus two, Divya, come on. Yes, it is minus one, correct? Okay. I hope everyone will take part, all right? Some of you are not answering things, please answer, right? So that I know you are awake and not off to, you know, to brush or maybe back to sleep early morning. So this is minus one x raised to minus one minus one. I'm just using this formula. What is n? n is minus one. Put minus one at both places, right? So this term will become minus x raised to minus two. And now let's go to this one plus. Let's go to this one. Here two is a constant, right? And it is multiplied with this. So it is k into u. So kick the constant out. Okay. All right. So, one joint brush karo away you go. 100 mati 99 dega. Vela utta away to. Now. Use this same formula again, right? What is n this time? People, what is n this time? n is minus 2. Yes. Very good. Minus 2, right? So now 2 into, again, put minus 2 in place of n. So now we don't write minus 1, we'll write minus 2. 
okay right so that's it okay so that's how you use this rule never kai biju che nahi don't take too much tension about it right and now you have to simplify okay so this is minus x raised to minus 2 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 x raised to minus 3 this is your answer and if you want to write it properly like you used to do in 10th standard this is what you could write okay so that's it see this is this is how you do differentiation okay so don't worry too much about it this is what you have to do all right so now let's go to physics right so you are going to use differentiation for the first time now okay yeah okay thank you arity finally yeah so let's go to physics if you remember earlier we defined okay that differentiation is nothing but small change in y divided by small change in x so we write it as limit delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x correct and that is nothing but written as dy by dx all right okay so that's what we figured out right now you see this kind of situation happens with velocity let's talk about instantaneous velocity okay think about it what is the formula of instantaneous velocity it is v is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 into delta uh, sorry limit delta t tends to 0 delta x by delta t right i hope everyone remembers it okay so this is velocity right hmm now see this is this is so much like this yes or no this is so much like you know that differentiation uh, definition limit delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x right in fact what we have is at y's place here you have x this x stands for position i hope you remember that right and instead of this x is place you have t that is time right so do you realize that if i use the same idea instead of y i'll write x instead of x i'll write t so i can write velocity is equal to dx by dt yes or no close exactly that right it's nothing else velocity is equal to dx by dt okay Whew. so you see why we need to learn why we need to learn what is differentiation right because differentiation is actually how velocity was defined right this is the true definition of velocity no differentiation is not equal to velocity ayush right okay differentiate if you want to write this in words this is how you can write it in words differentiation of position with respect to time is velocity right differentiation can be of anything right there are hundreds of things which you can find by differentiation right okay so this is the one and only correct definition of velocity let me tell you that okay this is the one and only correct definition of velocity gracy differentiation is used to find velocity first thing haji to biju ketlu hi avse 50 jagya avse differentiation physics ma 50 jagya right ane haji agar bhano suppose you go and study higher level physics right then there will hardly be any one topic where you don't use differentiation right differentiation is one of the most important things that you have to understand if you want to study physics right so
okay so velocity is dx by dt again again let me just clarify a few things was that a warning no it was not a warning hold up right it's just that you start to love all these little bit of math okay but yes i promise you this was the longest stretch of math i taught you right now we will not have to ever go into so much detail right this is the only thing that you need to understand very well in maths okay otherwise it's just okay you can just you know touch it you can just scratch it right okay fine this that's what it is right it's like you don't have to go and swim in it you just have to dip your toes right okay fine let's continue now i was telling you what is what is meaning of velocity well see let me clarify a few things first of all what is delta x by delta t can you tell me what is delta x by delta t what is delta x by delta t yes gracie if you have a question you could type it i want the answers people what is delta x by delta t no 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 i'm getting lots of wrong answers come on divya what is that called what is this called okay this is the formula of which quantity this is the formula of which quantity what is it called eh no no chintan not correct it is not called big change in this or that right give it, give a simple name for this thing what is this called oh no we are getting lots of wrong answers we are getting so many wrong answers all right okay 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 no it's not called differentiation tapan it's not called differentiation no i wish not not the correct answer uh all right the correct answer is the correct answer is average velocity and nothing else there is no correct ans other correct answer right this is the only correct answer average velocity okay i told i told you what is this quantity right see some of you said this is displacement upon time interval correct but what is displacement upon time interval called what is it called it avadu jo ne khali tum eu ko to no chale ne right this is average velocity all right some of you said instantaneous velocity that's completely wrong some of you said displacement okay that's not true again all right please everyone familiarize yourselves with quantities and their definitions and their formula right okay quick question write the definition of displacement in the chat box immediately write the dis, uh, definition of displacement definition all right not formula definition definition not formula wrong raj it's not correct no me not correct definition ki do yes jay ki do well done subject no kevai object kevai that's it okay the only correct answer is displacement's definition definition everyone okay displacement's definition is change in position of the object right of object no lokho to chale we all understand it is of object only not of observer right okay fine no priyans that's not correct that is not correct priyans no sahil wrong that's not how you define it are ahia likhi to che aaj aaj definition che that's it there is no other definition all right 
this is the only correct definition right vedant now i don't remember what you said the chat box scrolled down so i i can't find it also i'm so sorry right so if someone would ask you formula then you say that delta x is equal to xf minus xi or x2 minus x1 all right this is called formula right this whole thing is the formula of displacement all right no vedant wrong distance travel is wrong we have to not write shortest this no ankita no that's what you learned in lower class 9 standard okay now that will not work clear okay that will not work that's not the correct or perfect definition all right so this is the definition and formula once again i would request all of you to revise whatever we have learned so far right okay like i said it earlier i don't like it when you cannot answer things yes i should ask more questions nandini i realize that yes because only when i'll ask you will realize whether you have understood or not right okay 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 no problem right now give one more fine okay who can write the formula of velocity come on ajaj bhunai ho jaye let's see if you can do it who can write the formula of velocity hurry up basic questions only right hurry up hurry up hurry up no sankirn wrong answer no ayushi not the correct answer siddharth not the correct answer riya not correct answer no priyansh no raj not correct answer no dikshita wrong rahul avi wrong pinak it's right vedant it's wrong no sanju that's incorrect it's wrong yes rohan but you should write it as a formula rohan formula neel i said formula no dikshita anuj it's not correct diya no not right joy it's wrong raj it's wrong yes heli well done riya it's not correct no sahil no 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 sanju you don't write capital that's it okay yes uday correct Ah, uh, Ria, you don't write it so long, Ria. Write a formula. That's it. No, Dharmi, that's not how you write it. Okay. 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 So there are two ways to write this formula. One. One is this. All right. But this is very ugly to write, isn't it? Okay. This is correct, but see, normally we don't use this. All right. Normally we don't use this. This is correct, but we don't use this. Okay. we prefer this one all right we prefer this one okay v is equal to dx by dt you can't write delta x by delta t everyone before 2 minutes we had a discussion what is delta x by delta t it is average velocity right this is velocity they are different right average velocity tells you about how fast the object moves over a big time interval right okay from some time to some time that is average velocity but this one tells you about at a particular time right all that is theory we have gone through it i am not going to repeat it anymore right kasan it's really tough to read everyone's answer i'm sorry i missed it next time i will make sure i'll read your okay all right so that is velocity which we have learned today right now let's solve an example right there is an example from the textbook hurray we are solving questions right open your textbook right uh, and let me tell you which example we are going to solve now uh you are in 11th standard right which chapter are we studying third 
ओके येस हार्ड आई एम सो सॉरी प्रोबेबली फॉर लक ऑल राइट यू आर नॉट सो श्योर वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू नाइन लाइफ वॉज इजी इन नाइन इन इलेवेंथ यू हैव टू स्टडी डिफरेंशिएशन ओके now yes kavya correct when i say when anyone writes velocity again let me just repeat that fact uh, i don't want anyone to have any kind of confusion just a minute we'll start with that example very shortly i'm just saying that if someone writes only velocity okay this velocity by itself means instantaneous velocity okay this is what everybody in the world uses this is not because i am lazy okay this is because how everyone writes it clear and when you write average velocity it means average velocity of course right no prizes for that clear okay so keep that in mind all right so now we are going to solve the example 3.1 okay we are going to solve example 3.1 finally we are solving questions okay right i'm going to copy the question here but that does not mean you will sit without your textbook okay yes that's right kavya okay, that's right okay so here is the question let's read it you also read it please a car is moving along a straight line say op in figure 3.1 all right we have to take a figure from the book um uh, where is that figure 3.1 all right got it it's given on page number 40 it's given on page number 40 okay i'm going to copy it and bring it here so that i can see it along with you okay there we go so here is that figure right let's read it now it says that uh, this car is moving along a straight line means motion in one dimension right Uh, say op from o to p where is o here o means origin generally that's how people take it right where is my pen yeah oh, okay this is o right to p so the car goes from o to p it moves from o to p in 18 second and returns from p to q in 6 second so everyone draw it sketch it in your notebook nobody will be lazy i know this is very easy to draw but you will draw it it's a rule in my physics class however easy or tough you will draw a diagram right nobody will try to solve a question without a diagram all right compulsory and see you don't need to show it show it in lot of detail look at how i am drawing a car okay that's enough this is car if you don't like my design don't worry don't study physics from now on okay so this is the car here all right starts at start moving from o goes to p right till here okay so let me write that how much time did it take to go from o to p it took 18 seconds right okay and then returns from p to q okay so from p it comes back to q right so basically the car has moved something like this okay from o to p and then from p to q all right okay i hope you understood what i have drawn okay so oh, sorry just a minute p to q p to q in 6 second now yes uh, we are, we are just starting with this question all right example right everyone see i'm giving you this honest advice if you want to learn anything in life okay you should not copy right right you should not even worry too much about what others are doing so i will suggest that as soon as you draw diagram okay as soon as you write these basic details okay 
you close your book because otherwise you will see the example solution i know it is so tempting right apni nazar niche jati j rahe apna control ma hoy ad nahi i know that right okay so everyone if you see a single line from this solution right from the textbook it means you are cheating in my opinion and you will not learn anything right okay if you want to learn you will not see a single letter right you will not see a single letter from the solution not at all control yourself all right close your book or hide it with something hide the solution with something i don't mind right okay please make this habit you know why i'm telling you that see let me let me tell you something in 10th standard you used to have a very limited syllabus right such a small book are evi to aaj physics ma be che devi math ni ek hati ne evi apni khali physics ni be che barabar ne right in 10th standard the syllabus was so limited so if you will not learn then you will not be able to mug up all the solutions there is no way you will be able to complete everything if you do cheating like that okay right and let me tell you people will twist questions it is normal right in fact when questions are not twisted i will be surprised right people will twist the questions એટલે બહુ એવું નહીં રાખવાનું કે આપણે સોલ્યુશન જોઈ લે ગો કે મારશું ને હમણાં આવડી જશે એ બધું ભૂલી જવાનું એવું હોય તો ટેન્થમાં જ રહેજો ઓકે તો દેટ વિલ નોટ વર્ક રાઈટ ઓકે લેટ સ્ટાર્ટ સો કીપ માય એડવાઇસ વિથ યુ પ્લીઝ ફોલો ઇટ દેટ્સ અ હમ્બલ રિક્વેસ્ટ ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ લર્ન ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ મેક યોર કેરિયર સક્સેસફુલ એન્ડ ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ એન્જોય ફિઝિક્સ પ્લીઝ ડુ ઇટ રાઈટ લેટ સ્ટાર્ટ સો આઈ હોપ યુ હેવ ડ્રોન ધ ડાયગ્રામ યુ હેવ રિટન સમ ડિટેલ્સ and now you have hidden the solution or you have closed your book let's start now it says what are the average velocity and average speed of car so we have to find two things average velocity average speed in going a from o to p so right now we will we will ignore this part of question all right i hope you understand what i'm doing right we will ignore that part of question what do we want to find we want to find average speed okay and we want to find average velocity right we want to find average speed and average velocity now before you start here you should put a little title you are studying the motion of the vehicle from o to p yes or no everyone is that clear yes or no right because we are still solving the first part of the question all right a part not b part only a part right well done okay so let's start so who will write the formula of average speed in the chat box hurry up write the formula of average speed fast formula of average speed okay so many of you are raising hand you can write it you can write it no problem you write it everyone no ruka you are not the right answer yes we are correct answer avi you don't say distance upon time please no tamanna yes most of you are giving right answers well done no ankita that's not correct no forum no kavya no not correct rahul it's wrong okay 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 right so finally i'm just going to put the correct answer here the correct answer is distance traveled or path length see you can write either one no problem path length okay divided by time interval or time taken okay see this is not delta x by delta t again delta x by delta t means average velocity okay So let's see how much is the distance traveled. Come on, I am asking you the next question. Everyone, stay active. How much is distance traveled? Ah, तो अपने पांच बार लगने को. Okay. How much is distance traveled, everyone? Unit होए के नहीं. Everyone, is there a unit? 
Is there a unit? Okay. Remember, we are talking about O to P. O to P. All right, let's see. O to P. Distance travel is clearly 360 meter, isn't it? We don't have to go till Q. We only have to worry about O to P. I hope that is clear. Look at this. Okay, so the distance travel is, yes, 360 meter. Well done. So many of you got it right. Well done, all of you. 360 meter, right? If you got it wrong, please don't worry, right? If there's anything that you'd like to ask, you can. No, Dhruvisha, how is it 400? All right, 360 meter divided by time interval. How much time did it take to go from O to P? Okay, hmm, 18 seconds. Right, so final answer will be, final answer will be 20 meter per second. Which direction? I'm asking you, which direction? Which direction? Everyone, 20 meter per second, all right, which direction? Oh, hey, oh, hey, don't the answer I Okay, 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 very good. Okay. Straight. That's interesting. Yes. So I think now it's enough. The correct answer is people, people wake up before you join physics class because now physics has started. People, this is average speed and i hope you all remember that average speed is a scalar and scalars don't have direction so the correct answer is no direction everyone else is wrong Ooh. yes uday you said that You know, physics uh, physics is like kadam kadam pe khatra. Remember that. Okay. Every time, every time you see a question from me, you should be suspicious. Yes, I am enjoying this. This is how a class should be, right? Everyone takes part. Everyone tries. Some of you get right answer. Some of you get wrong answer. Then I'll tell you and you realize, okay, yes, sir, you told us that, right? That's what is happening, right? Okay. So that is how we learn. Are you the classroom? Ma, why not? That's a dub dub party. Thank you. Come on, come on. Classroom, go. Thank you. Right? It is. It is so much fun when you all interact and we can have discussions like this. Right? So you know, there there is a sentence that I like to use often in my class. It is that often in science. The, per, the minority is correct, right? Often in science, the minority is correct. You should not forget that, right? You know, it's not like democracy, right? Where if 20 people will say this, then that will be right. No, you know, if you'll compare, if you, if you will compare how many people gave the right answer let me tell you about five people gave the right answer five students okay about five students gave the right answer and at least at least 50 gave wrong answer let me tell you that to this simple question ajito complicated right so this is very common don't worry this is normal right this is normal, don't worry. 
right that is how all of you will learn emma emma udas no thai jata evi no vicharta ke physics nahi avde to evu nahi thai don't worry right yes practice makes it perfect okay let's go to the next thing okay let's continue come on let's continue so we have found average speed and it has no direction so don't fall in traps right let's go to the next part what do we have to find we have to find average velocity all right average velocity have any formula about discuss theory we will not write it again average velocity is delta x by delta t all right okay okay everyone be careful time interval how much o to p we are still talking about o to p time interval 18 seconds right now what is what is delta x what is delta x How do you find delta x? Formula of delta x. Come on, everyone. What is formula of delta x? Yes, 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 yes. Correct. Very good. Final minus divya. What final minus initial? Yes. Well done, people. Well done. See, I, I, this time I'm getting lots of correct answers. Well done. Okay. Very good, everyone. Okay. So I think I think I don't need to worry too much about it. Final position is 360. Initial position is zero, right? So finally, this answer is going to be 20. If you don't write units here, it's okay. But then you should be careful. You should know what is the unit. Okay? So this is the average velocity, right? Okay. Huh? All right. Now, which direction? which direction which direction yes if you don't write units mark will be cut yes 20 meter per second correct 20 meter per second and which direction positive direction well done right side or positive see we have not written anything it means this is going to be positive only right because you don't always write plus 1 if you get 100 marks in exam do you write plus 100 marks i got plus 100 marks is that what you do okay so it's fine this is positive well done you all identified the direction correctly right side or positive all right so fine that's it okay now let's go to the second part i will just copy the question once again because this page is already quite ugly all right meanwhile you read the b part okay and you can start doing it if you want don't worry you can do it before me i don't mind mare etlo sikhadu ocho tam kari nakta hoy to Okay. Right. Oops. Ah. So here is the question. Now we are doing B part of this one, right? So we'll ignore A part, right? Once again, the vehicle or the car moves from this time O to P and to Q, right? So let's do it that way. All right from here to p and then to q all right okay so let's write that first of all o to p to q okay okay all right let's start so i think many of you have started finding average speed right so we are going to find out average speed now first of all average speed okay first of all average speed formula is path length divided by time interval or time taken right okay let's see now how much is the path length tell me the path length everybody remember it's going from remember it's going from o to p to q right so we just have to we just have to take o as starting point right 
and q as final point all right so path length o to p o to p to q look at this diagram that will help right goes all the way from here to there and then comes back how it is right okay we have got pretty six answers uh, sorry i will not be able to take all of your answers suddenly there are so many answers right i will just write the final one and then if you don't understand you tell me okay i'm saying that first of all in going from o to p the distance travel is 360 right and then going back from p to q the distance travel is 120 correct is this 120 clear i am doubtful about that i am concerned about 120 is 120 clear yes ayush what's not clear sanju 120 then distance between two points between p and q how much is distance between p and q okay it is 360 minus 240 right that's the distance 120 all right so total path length is 480 right total path length is 480 okay okay now divided by time interval who will tell me the time interval or how much time it took from o to p to q whole journey all right complete or whole journey how much did this whole journey take how much time did it take how much time did it take yes very good i have started to get right answers well done people well done yes well done yes it is 24 seconds right it is 24 seconds right so this is 480 meter and this is 24 second 24 as in 18 plus 6 because 18 for o to p and p to q 6 seconds right so finally this is going to be 20 meter per second okay no chale sahil velocities cannot be added in this manner okay right velocities cannot be added like you are saying right that's why it won't work all right okay fine now we go to average velocity okay let's go to average velocity uh, i'm so sorry the this zoom thing seems to be stuck right uh, it's not working very well okay let's continue now with average velocity right now this is very crucial this is our last point okay so please uh, don't leave we will just finish this and then we'll stop we will not do anything else today right okay formula of average velocity is delta x by delta t first of all time interval to go from o to p to q is 24 seconds right i hope denominator is not a problem for anyone right okay yes ami that's right uh, the denom now we will talk about numerator that is delta x okay i want you to tell me what is delta x displacement what is displacement how much displacement here how much displacement what is value of delta x how much is value of delta x come on come on people hurry up Mm, 240 meter very good it is 240 meter right see for finding delta x you just need to know final position and initial position and you subtract see i hope everyone realizes that o stands for initial position right 
and Q stands for final. If you ignore P, then also it's okay, right? We are only interested in initial and final position, right? So that's why this is going to be 240 for Q minus zero for O, right? Final minus initial. So this is going to be 240 by 24, that is 10 meter per second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does the average speed depend? No, no, Raj, it does not depend on that. Both are independent, both are separate, right? Raj, I would uh, request you to read those important points that we discussed in the class one. All right, that will help you understand better. Okay, plus 10 meter per second or 10 meter per second. That's it, students. That's enough for today. Goodbye. See you all tomorrow. Please come on time. All right, everyone, please join on time. Bye-bye, everyone.